Okay. Hey, what's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And if you didn't start yet, y'all the villains ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Diddy, uh, allegedly, let me start. Let me first of all, whoa, I'm so sorry. Allegedly, <laughs> let me start off by saying this whole video is alleged. Ain't nobody suing me. I'm broke. I ain't got no money. Matter of fact, y'all hit me in the cash app. Cash app's in the description. Um, allegedly, Diddy is now facing another uh lawsuits of allegations of uh allegedly sexual activities against people's consent, allegedly. And um Gene Deal, big Gene. You know, he's on, shout out to Art of Dialogue. I'll make sure to tag his channel. Uh, has been killing it with interviews, not just with Gene Deal, but with everyone. Excuse me, y'all. Um, he's been killing it over there, man. So shout out to him. Um, Gene Deal comes on uh, the Art of Dialogue's podcast again and tells us about what was going on with the whole Usher and Diddy situation. So let's let's get into it, man, because I, I got to hear this. Um, and then St I guess Howard Stern has something to do with it. I'm not 100% sure. That I haven't seen this video yet. So let's get into it, y'all. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> See? I know. And people know. Hold on. And this is Big Gene. Nine seconds. I'm so sorry. I did not think that was going to stop it that fast. Usher, why not? Why, why you don't want to send your kids to a P. Diddy camp? Weren't you uh, a, like a teen, a teenager at Diddy camp? Why not? Let, let's, I mean, hopefully they can get into it more. Let's go. That was around that in that time that Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now, I let Usher explain that to y'all. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you York over to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's what it was called. And you're going to go to... Puffy Flavor Camp? I feel like I got to say pause after saying that. Usher, Usher, if I'm not mistaken, he was like 13 or 15 years old. He was a teenager. He was living with Puff, Puffy for a year? Puff Daddies. He's in the nineties. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were thirteen. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle, right? And, and I saw it, and it was, and it was. <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh -huh. and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh -huh. Biggie Smalls was there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Joe C, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. Yeah. I actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> I, and what yeah. and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. Life. Looking at this lawsuit, right? So before, before they go back, because they're going back and forth, right? I'm trying to figure out what was a third. What 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 would a 13 year old boy be doing, living living with a grown ass man? He said to see the life, the, to understand the lifestyle, to live the lifestyle. And one of the women that was there said, "What what were your parents thinking? Why did your parents do that?" And 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 rightfully so. And it goes back to the whole R. Kelly situation, right? Where R these parents was giving R. Kelly their little girls after all these allegations. I mean, even before, still like, bro, what? But but after all these allegations came out, the whole sex tape with R. Kelly and the underage girl allegedly, these parents need to be locked up too. I'm not saying other parents should be locked up, but I, we need answers. Why would you think it would be okay to let your 13 year old boy go live with a grown ass man for a year? What's going on here? 
And what did he say? Yeah, I, I, I saw the orgies. I was I was involved in orgies at 13. Why nobody trying to do their homework to try to get them girls canceled that was grown as hell sleeping with Usher at 13, 14 years old? Why y'all not trying to do that? Because if that was a man doing that to a 13-year-old girl, y'all would not be shedding up about it. I tell this, I say this all the time, fellas. Anytime this happens to a man, women get on hush mode. They, they, they don't want to talk about it. Usher literally just got on camera and said he was 13 years old indulging in said orgies with them damn grown-ass women. Why y'all not trying to get them canceled? What's going on? Keep that same energy, ladies. Little uh, he alleges that, you know, Diddy told him personally that he had sex with Usher. And when you look at the lawsuit, even though they got Usher name redacted, you could tell who it is because they described him as the guy that performed at the Super Bowl. Right. So, I mean, we all know who that is, but how you feel about that, man? Well, I, I mentioned that earlier that he said about Stevie J, the Usher part, that, that's a touchy situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I had a certain feeling and I, I felt a certain way when Usher got on Shay Shay and I don't mean to mention other people platforms, but he got on Shay Shay and he mentioned how great and how good Puff taught him and everything. You know what I'm saying? About the business. Right? I let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you, you gonna give him a pass. Bro, you know I know. Let me re let, let me reframe you on something. Remember, Usher, we was at the Swiss Hotel. Puff was had Kim in the room. Had one of Keith Sweat's baby mothers in the in in the uh the big room outside the master bedroom. He came outside in his robe. He came outside in his robe. She gave him a fellatio right there. His back was turned to me. She gave him a fellatio. You knocked on the door. I came and opened the door for you. Puff went in the room. You came in the room and kissed that girl dead in the mouth. Oh, Lord. Now I'm telling that because you taking up with somebody. I need a minute. Hold on. Wow. I, I, that, that is, that's insane. What? No, I'm going to prison. <laughs> Did he know? I mean, well, I don't think he knew because he had just got in the room. He said he opened, he knocked on the door and, and Big G opened the door for him and, he, and Puffy went to, went to the room. Hey, yo. That you know and a lot of more people know didn't do you right when you was at Diddy Camp. Y'all put it together. And what you mean by Diddy Count? Remember? He was on um, one of the talk shows. The white guy with the curly hair. What's his name? Um, the white guy with the curly hair. And he said, yo, would you send your son to Diddy Camp? And I just said, no, no. Ask him why he won't send him to Diddy Camp. I just said the same thing. Why Why not? <laughs> but yet and still, you praise him. Damn, man. And you said that. I know you can't go into detail, but you said that um, it was a situation where Diddy sent him to the hospital? Let Usher explain that to you. Let Usher mama explain that to you. Hmm. And the hospital was in Scarsdale, New York. He dropping names of the hospitals and all. He dropping names of the hospital and all. And there's people, man. Listen, let me let, let me let me say this real quick because the way I see it, man. Diddy's arrested or, or not arrested? I'm sorry. Diddy's going through 
whatever amounts of allegations and lawsuits and stuff like that. And I will honestly say, um, from the sounds of it, bro, he deserves it. From the whole Cassie situation, from the whole, from every, I mean, we can't really speak on Cassie's situation because she already settled out. So that's, that's done. That's over with. That's done and over with. We can't, we can't really speak on that. Um, it is what it is, but everything that was, go that was going on, everything that was going on, I would say he, he deserves it. Cat Williams said at the beginning of this year, this is going to be the year of exposing. And I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing. Because this stuff got to stop. And I would love for Usher to come out here and tell us what the hell is going on. First of all, why were you in the hospital? What happened? Usher, oh, oh, Pete, what do you say? Diddy allegedly sent him there. What happened? Was he drugged? Did he overdose? Was he drinking too much? Was he you know, in a situation where it was a physical abuse or a sexual abuse that he had to go to the hospital? What happened? Crazy video, man. I'm going to try to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, be safe for a cup.